Ladies and gentlemen, the awards that we are about to present are a start to what will be an historical event in history. This is the inaugural induction of the Tweeba Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association Walking Horse Hall of Fame. The horses that are receiving this honor tonight were voted on by the Hall of Fame Committee consisting of the Standing Executive Committee, Tweeba Past Presidents, and members of the Master Breeders Committee. The horses had to qualify in one or more of three categories, breeding, show ring accomplishment, and ambassadorship of the breed. Tonight we induct horses that qualified in all three categories. This program will be implemented in phases covering all eras of the de development of the breed. This year we begin recognizing the horses that fold prior to 1950. For 2015, 10 horses were selected to be inducted. Those horses are Allen F1, a black horse foaled in 1886, bred by E.D. Hare of Lexington, Kentucky. Black Allen, as he was known, was registered with the American Trotting Association. He was purchased as a 17-year-old by James Brantley and later owned by Albert DeMint. Allen, 15 hands, was crossed with Middle Tennessee saddle mares and produced four-beat gated foals. The running walk that he passed on became the signature trait of the breed. He produced Roan Allen F-38. Hunters Allen, F-10, Bertie Messick and Mary Legs, F-4. When the registry was formed in 1935, he was honored as the foundation horse of the breed. He produced 40 registered foals. Tonight, Dr. Brad Woodruff accepts the award on behalf of Allen F-1. Midnight Sun, a.k.a. Joe Lewis Allen, a black horse foaled in 1940 was bred by Sam Ramsey of Viola, Tennessee, by Wilson's Allen and out of Ramsey's Rena. Over the course of his life, he was owned by John Hendrickson, Harlinsdale Farm, and GM and Geraldine Livingston. From humble beginnings, Midnight Sun was destined for immortality. The gangly colt was purchased by Harlinsdale Farms and put into training. He was undefeated in 1945 and 1946 and became a two-time world grand champion with Fred Walker. Midnight Sun's breeding years coincided with the advent of artificial insemination. He served a record number of mares so many that a vast majority of living Tennessee walking horses traced to him. He sired five world grand champions and was grand sire to nine more. He produced 2,695 registered foals. His son, Pride of Midnight, moved the breed to new standards of excellence and refinement still evident in today's top contenders. Accepting the award tonight on behalf of Midnight Sun is Rocky Jones and Julie Ripley. Black Angel, a black mare star Fold in 1939, breeder M Mrs. Fanny Bramlett by Mary Boy and Nell Bramlett. Owned by W.B. Yancey, Kanile Cassie, Jesse Morton, among others. Trained by Winston Weiser, she was the first of many prominent contenders sired by Mary Boy. She was reserve three-year-old mayor and reserve in the junior championship at her first celebration appearance. The following year, 1943, she went reserve in aged mares, but came back to win the World Grand Championship stake. She was the first world grand champion not sired by Wilson's Allen. After her win, she was sold for the highest price ever paid for a Tennessee walking horse up to that time. W.B. Yancey bought her and moved her to S.W. Beach Stables. She was shown extensively throughout the South and was three-time champion at Chicago. Upon retirement, she was the first world grand champion bred to a world grand champion. She produced 10 foals by four different world grand champions. Laura Brandon, daughter of Jesse Morton, accepts this award tonight on behalf of Black Angel. Mary Go Boy, a black horse near Hindsock, foaled in 1943. Breeder, Archie Weiser, brother of Winston Weiser, by Mary Boy and Weiser's Dimples. Owned and managed by S.W. Beach Jr., Go Boy was an outstanding show horse, setting records in his day with his superb confirmation and airy, effortless gates. He won 10 Celebration Blues, Wingling Colt, Yearling Two-Year-Old, Three-Year-Old, and Junior World Grand Championships. He was two-time winner 1947 and 48 of the Age Stallion World Grand Championship. All of Mary Go Boy's wins came at the hands of Winston Weiser. Mary Go Boy sired three World Grand Champions and was grandsire of a fourth. He produced 1,989 registered foals. He matched well with Daughters of Midnight Sun, as did Sun with Go Boy Mares. This Golden Cross endured throughout their breeding careers. Tonight, Mr. Ray Beach accepts this award on behalf of Mary Go Boy. Roan Allen F-38, a roan horse, four stockings and stripe, foaled in 1904. 
breeder James R. Brantley by Allen F1 and Gertrude. Roan Allen was an experimental breeding between a trotter, pacer sire, and a saddlebred mare that produced a recognizable four-beat gait. It was said that Roan Allen was the most formidable show horse of his era and could flawlessly perform seven distinct gates on cue. He regularly defeated champion saddlebreds and drew great attention to the attributes of this new breed of horses being reared near Wartrace, Tennessee by the Dements and Brantleys. The uncanny ability for Roan Allen to pass on his gate brought mares far and wide to his court. His influence is with us today as all living horses carry multiple crosses to this fine stallion. His potency was transmitted to both colts and fillies. He produced 479 registered foals. He is the sire of Mary Boy, Wilson's Allen, and great mares Pearl and Mauled Gray among notables. Tonight, Mr. Brantley's great-granddaughter, Kitty Keene, accepts this award on behalf of the Roan Allen F-38. Strolling Jim, a chestnut horse, near hind sock, star, snip, fold in 1936. Breeder Ed Gilliam by Wilson's Allen and Allen Strolling Jenny. Owners among many included James Ramsey, Henry Davis, Colonel C.B. Bacon, and Mrs. Floyd Carruthers. Jim, a former plow horse, put to saddle by Floyd Carruthers as a three-year-old, was considered among the most formidable of three-year-old contenders. He earned his place in history by being crowned world grand champion at the 1939 inaugural celebration. He continued a string of firsts. First gelding to become world grand champion. First horse to garner 10 celebration blues. First horse to be flown on an airplane to compete at a horse show. First and only horse to be buried behind Floyd Carruthers' historical Walking Horse Hotel in Wartrace, Tennessee. His gravesite is a pilgrimage must for all Tennessee Walking Horse enthusiasts. Tonight, Ashley Wadsworth accepts this award on behalf of Strolling Jim. Wilson's Allen, a chestnut horse near hind sock, foaled in 1917. Breeder, Bud Messick. By Roan Allen, F-38, and Bertie Messick. Owners included Johnson Hill, B.F. Wilson, Steve Kirby, F. Hoover, and Steve Hill. The double Roan Allen grandson was contract bred for a neighbor that admired Bud Messick's mare, Bertie. The colt was turned out to grow and started as a yearling by the neighbor boy, Steve Hill. An unfortunate accident left the gated colt blind and ended hopes for a show career. Put to plow and serviced as a teaser stallion, the colt would have been relegated to an unknown but for an enamorous fence-jumping mare. The resultant unplanned breeding was two-time world grand champion Haynes Peacock. Early breeding produced world grand champion Strolling Jim. Great Geldings, Memphis Pride, and the G-Man. Outstanding show mares, world grand champion Melody Maid, world grand champion City Girl, Mary Wilson, and great breeding horses like Sir Mulgray, Gold Bond, Wilson's Ace, Slippery Allen, and the legendary Midnight Sun. He produced 479 registered foals. The Wilson Allen family of horses is preeminent among show horses to this day. Tonight, on behalf of Wilson's Allen, Mrs. Cheryl Crawford accepts this award. Midnight Mac K. Sorrel horse, star, flax mane, and tail, foaled in 1947. Breeder Nile Cassie by Midnight Sun and Panola. Owned by Larry and Clint Jr. Gribble and Morrison Lowe. Referred to as the best horse to never win the World Grand Champion. Matt K. had five consecutive celebration wins with his old-time way of going and classic good looks. This impressive stallion had it all. His rival for the World Grand Championship was Talk of the Town, also undefeated. Trained by Steve Hill, Talk of the Town came to celebration in 1951 with a whole new way of walking, high stepping and deep in the back end. Matt K. was reserve with another reserve in 1952. Matt K. was a prolific and potent stallion totally 947 registered foals during his service. He produced two world grand champions, Rogers Perfection and Mac K's Handshaker, and was famous for the quality of his mares that seemed to carry forward his greatness when bred to stallions of the era. Mr. Jim Welch accepts this award tonight on behalf of Midnight Mac K. Allen's Gold Zephyr, AKA Trigger Jr. Yellow Horse, Four Stockings, Blaze, White Mane and Tail, Fold in 1941. Breeder C.O. Barker by Barker's Moonbeam and Fisher's Gray Maud. Owned by Roy Rogers and trained by Glenn and Corky Randall. Roy was an American singer and cowboy actor who was one of the most popular Western stars of his era. Known as the King of the Cowboys, 
He appeared in over 100 films and numerous radio and television show episodes of The Roy Rogers Show. In many of his films and television episodes, he appeared with his wife, Dale Evans, his Golden Palomino Trigger, and his German Shepherd Dog Bullet. Roy used several horses during his career, but the best and most highly trained was Trigger Jr., a registered Tennessee walking horse stallion purchased in 1948. It was Trigger Jr. that had baby boomers glued to the TV every Saturday morning and longing to own or ride a horse like Trigger. This horse's popularity led to the development of primetime Western television programs that led in the ratings for most of a decade. He was responsible for the revival of the American equine industry, which had been in steady decline since the introduction of the automobile. Trigger Jr. produced 50 foals before beginning his movie and TV career. After his death, he was preserved by taxidermist and was a feature attraction at the Roy Rogers and Dale Evans Museum. Trigger Jr. was purchased at auction after the museum closed by RFD TV. Tonight, Mr. David Williams accepts this award on behalf of Allen's Gold Zephyr. Mary Boy, Black Roan Horse, Four Stockings and Strip, Fold in 1925. Breeder A.M. DeMint, by Roan Allen F-38 and Mary Legs F-4. Owned by J.L. McMichael, W.M. Yandell, and George Williams. Since Mary Legs, like Wilson's Allen's Dam, Bertie Messick was also sired by Allen F-1. These two great stallions, Mary Boy and Wilson's Allen's, were three quarters brothers. Wilson's Allen and Mary Boy were perhaps the most powerful contributors to the gene pools of today, and crosses between the lines of these two horses were among the most successful of any. Virtually all of the world grand champions in the last 50 years emanate from one or both of their families. Mary Boy was a product of the DeMint breeding program. He was ill-tempered and basically unbiddable, so it was with his bloodlines. Mr. DeMint's reputation and leasing arrangements, which initially brought mares to his court. But Mary Boy soon began producing with a few local mares and his reputation grew. Wilson Allen offspring dominated at the celebration, and it wasn't until 1941 when Mary Boy was 16 years old that some of his get began to enhance his reputation. Midnight Sue, Mary Bird, Mary Bell, to name a few, tied well at the celebration, but it was not until Black Angel broke it wide open with her World Grand Championship win in 1943 that breeders took notice. Mary Go Boy was Mary Boy's best, defeating Midnight Sun to win the World Grand Championship twice. He sired 766 registered foals. Mary Boy mares were especially prized as brood mares. They were the dams of Talk of the Town, Roger's Perfection, and Ebony Masterpiece. Mr. Charles Glegern accepts this award tonight on behalf of Mary Boy.